leaving. <laughs> Done. But our trip's not over. <laughs> we want to camp on the Arctic Ocean. This is weird, and I hope it's not any aliens. But if I put my hand in the water, Did you remove all the carnage <laughs> from the road? Yeah, I did. Well, David found the sharp rocks that everyone's been talking about. It's tire busters. Yes, the road gets rough on the Dempster. He's just turned us around. We're heading back to... <laughs> Where are we going? Well, we decided to go with Plan B. But... <laughs> the gates looked closed. Oh, We're going to go further north because we want to camp on the Arctic Ocean. That's right. <laughs> We've already dipped our toes in it, but now we want to come back and camp in it. That's right. So being up in the Arctic again is so cool. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> kind of cool. All right. So we've got to uh, keep on heading north because we've got uh, 300 miles and uh, before we hit the ocean. And then we have to stop. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to bring you guys along and uh, we'll see what this beautiful uh, country's like. Well, this is a little ironic. We're about 10 miles into the Arctic Circle. We're in the Arctic and it's 62 degrees and that's the warmest it's been in weeks. weeks. And that is super cool that it is so warm here in the Arctic. That's why the Arctic is like awesome. <laughs> I love being in the Arctic. I bet you do. And did I just mention we're only 10 miles into it? If I had a nickel for every time he's been talking about it, we could probably buy everybody, all our subscribers are their own curiosity. <laughs> That's probably true. So be glad we're not videoing all of it. Look at this. Wow. Itchy. He is. All right. So we were wondering when on the Dempster we were going to see animals. Well, this is the first one we've seen. He's a bear. Look at him scratching. He's scratching him. and he's shaking. He is got an itch that he has got to scratch and satisfy. Should I go scratch it for him? Yeah, I've got the video going. You go ahead and scratch it and I will keep on filming. I think he's uh, seen trucks and cars before. Oh my god. Because gosh. he's literally just about paying us no attention. 
he's just sauntering around. So this is pretty great. Yes, finally. <laughs> A bear, finally. Is he trying to make a point? I think he is. <laughs> I think he is too. Okay, there he goes. You know what? He looked up when there was a pole right there. Yeah, he did. All right, first time at the Northwest Territories. Yeah. We have crossed out of the Yukon. But we're still in the Arctic Circle. Still in the Arctic. We'll hit Fort McPherson tonight, mm -hmm. and then it's uh, Inuvik, and then the Arctic Ocean. So continue our trek northward, but we're in the Arctic, and we will be for like days. And that's all that matters. <laughs> oh look, there's loose gravel. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. I think we crossed over the Continental Divide. We have. And... There wasn't a sign. Yeah. There was a summit back there during, uh, um, when we crossed yes. into the Northern, Northwest Territories. Yeah, and the water started flowing with us, not against us, <laughs> <laughs> towards the Arctic Ocean. Sorry, had to get that in there. But I think the tundra has started. Mm -hmm. We're in that uh, sort of Piedmont foothills area, mm -hmm. I think, where the, the tundra starts to begin. Yeah. So really pretty. It's a, a different. Mm -hmm. I will Very say. Very gentle rolling hills. Yeah. I will say so far these roads on this Northwest Territory. Oh, they're nice. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So kudos to them. I can't believe we're actually going faster than somebody else. <coughs> wow, this is the first time we have ever <laughs> passed anybody. Really? I think uh, on this entire Alaska trip. That's incredible. Wow. One of two ferry crossings on the Dempster. We are at the first one, which is the Peel River Ferry. And it's not a very wide uh, river. It's not gonna be like the Yukon flowing, but the ferries are very similar. So we're gonna do our first uh, ferry ride on the, uh, on the Dempster here. Okay, I normally it's don't pretty. take pictures while I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, For right. the record, I am stopped. Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we're stopped. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so here comes the ferry, and we're going to uh, get on it. Uh, it is an on-demand ferry, so when cars show up, there's no schedule. They run like from 9 a.m. to midnight every day except when the river's frozen, and then you just drive across the river on the ice. Yeah. So we're uh, getting ready to do this. Uh, this is kind of unique on this kind of a ferry, though we have done the Yukon, so yeah. similar. few kilometers outside of Fort McPherson mm -hmm. and we're gonna stay at the territorial park uh, well we hope, we hope so <laughs> uh, yeah so day four on the Dempster oh this is the best day so far I mean it was absolutely gorgeous we didn't have to deal with any fog it was 63 degrees it was just it was cloudy but partly partly cloudy and uh, just the colors oh my gosh they Really the fall nice. colors. I, I, I'm afraid to see. I don't think I've ever taken so many pictures of just 
landscape. Yeah, I mean, it was just beautiful. beautiful. But, Colors were everywhere. But the best part was we were driving along. I was so focused on this huge truck coming ahead of us. And then we had, I, I'm tracking uh, miles and everything. And we saw um, the truck coming and then there was the kilometer post. And then on the side of the road, you spotted the grizzly bear. Yeah. That was the best. That was really nice because that was the first animal wildlife that we have seen mm -hmm. on the Dempster so far. Yeah, we, I was starting to wonder if there was any wildlife here, but I've seen signs of it. We saw caribou tracks, yep. I've seen wolf tracks, uh, with lots of bear scat. So it's they're here somewhere. And then the ferry, that was, I mean, the guy operating the ferry. He was great. He even let me get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he let really me get nice out of guy. The, out of the truck. It was yeah. a good, good day today. I think it was a great day. <laughs> the gates looked oh, closed. That is too funny. This Vehicle is permit. Oh, that's day use area only. Uh, okay. okay. So this is September 10th. Yes. I mean, they can't be closed, right? There's the visitor center. Oh, I'm sure they can. All right, so the campground is closed. <laughs> the gates that we thought were the day use center were actually the campground itself. But they have a parking lot here, so we're gonna stay here as opposed to a pull-off and stay within, uh, be good faith uh, trying to, you know, yeah. stay in a campground where they'd like us to up in the Northwest Territory. So we're here for the night and I think it's we're level and it's been a great day. Let's see if there's a place that we can top off for fuel. According to the sign on the road, there is. Yeah, there's a, oh, there's a truck wash. <laughs> Waste of money here. All right, well, here's the co-op. And turns out it's working. Some odd looking pumps. We're missing the, maybe the guts are there. Self-serve, okay. I don't see any yellow handles. Oh, there's diesel. Diesel's on the left, fuel's on the right. I guess that's the office. Topping off. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to age myself, but I haven't <laughs> seen this one in a while, so how much is it? 231. No, it says 216. Oh, no. You're right, 231 per liter. Yeah, which is expensive, but not I was ex bad for out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's I mean, that's actually reasonable, but we don't want to say that too loud. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let me, um, I guess we pay when we're done? Yep. Okay. Well, we pulled over on the side of the road because I had to go to the bathroom because my bladder can't handle all this washboarding. And I heard a hissing sound and a smell, slight smell, and our propane tank is leaking. So we lost about 9% of our propane. So David's tightening it up. So you think it just jiggled loose? Yeah, I'm getting ready to check. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't hear anything. Yep, that's what it was. So it just jiggled loose. Just jiggled loose. Wow. So he's gonna leave it off until we need it? Yeah, until we get to our next stop. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> wow. A lot of ponds here. A lot of ponds. I can't imagine what the bugs are like in the summertime here. I mean, that's why the road kind of curves because yeah. it jogs around all these ponds. Well, we are on the ferry. Absolutely beautiful views. This just turned us around. We're heading back to. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going in circles. I think he's showing off your boat. He saw the drone and I think he's showing off. 
his boating skills. Maybe he's going to just take us to the Arctic Ocean. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, this is just bizarre. We are going right back to where we came from. All right. Well, we went from here, and then we came over here to drop a guy off, and now I guess we're going over here. And we didn't know that. <laughs> Had no idea. <laughs> so, David's not sure where we're going, where to drop this drone. And I hope I've got enough battery power. <laughs> and I hope I know where we're going so I can land it where we're going to be. Because, man. <laughs> He's sweating I'm it. I'm starting to get low now. I'm sitting over the water. <laughs> a flowing river. <laughs> He's hovering over in case he has to take an emergency landing on the ferry here. Yes. <laughs> so we're heading in the direction we think we're supposed to be going, so that makes sense. And we're going down river, so it looks like we're just going to coast right in. That was really weird. All right, well, we're getting closer to the other side, and we're right on track where the GPS says we're supposed to be. David says, uh, according to the drone, we need to be making a hard right to land. So we have 900 feet. And I'm at 48 percent. Oh, he's coming in like he's done this a few times. Oh, yeah. Once or twice, no doubt about it. And I'm at 44 percent. Are you okay? I'm a thousand meters from the start point. I'm going to get the, the notice here pretty soon. Of going home? Of going home. Yeah, but you can... I can override it. And then just land it someplace else. And then I'll just have to find a place to land it. I think I've got a, a place. <laughs> He's lowering the, um, the gate. At least this one has a gate. And the river's not rushing, flowing that hard, I don't think, is it? I don't think so, but it's a big river. Oh, yeah. He's done this a few times. Look at this. Smooth as silk. Oh, my goodness. Piece of cake. Now that I've recovered my drone and I can uh, stop. And you have recovered. Yes, and I can stop worrying about it a little bit. It was 1,100 meters from where I took off, so that's about how far and uh, wide the river was. But it's pretty cool because we crossed the Arctic Red River. Yes, that, that's true. That that's is a true. Real name. And the Mackenzie River. Yeah. It's the confluence of the two. So being in the Arctic and crossing the Arctic Red River, that is just super cool. Yeah. And it's really cool. I can say cool in the Arctic. And it's only 64 degrees outside. Yes. So it's that's the really cool. It's been like for the last month. That's right. It's really cool that it's warm in the Arctic. So David just got over to see what the scrape side is, if it's any better. It is. Much better. Much better. We're, we're rebels. Yes, a lot of dust though. Oh, are, are we a finally kicking up dust. dust? Oh yeah. Wow, this is the first time on this road we're actually able to kick up, go fast enough to kick up dust. Look at that. Wow. Our spot for the night. Just uh, 40 miles or so outside of uh, Inuvik, next to Caribou Creek was really nice. I just love the sounds of a babbling brook. Well, we just hit kilometer 259 right past the airport and we found Pavement. All right, we found the Western Arctic Regional Visitor Center here in Inuvik, and we have about 80 more miles to tuck, but that's not going to happen until tomorrow. But if I see people, I'm letting them know. <laughs> well, gee, thank you. We feel special. <laughs> Closing for the season. Well, our season's not over. Yeah, our season is just beginning. There we go. So this looks like the residential version of Dead Horse with all the buildings up on poles and stilts and things so as not to damage the permafrost. 
Yeah, this does have a a retail feel of Dead Horse, mm -hmm. no doubt. Is that the um, visitor center? Welcome yeah. center. There we go. What are we supposed to get at the welcome center? The Dempster Highway? Yeah, that was the Dempster. So yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. An indoor rodeo arena. Huh. The famous Igloo Church. Oh, yeah. Oh, Roman Catholic. That's pretty cool grocery store, Pizza Hut, KFC, groceries, <laughs> home apparel, has everything. Yeah. One stop shop. Drug Mart, I hope that means pharmacy. It's like a little convenience store, 7-Eleven. So this says camping here to the left. Is that Happy Valley? Look at the plumbing. Or what is that? Oh, wow. Is that water? Or uh, HVAC, maybe, central. To the right? Yeah, there's Happy Valley. Okay, we got to ask about these pipes. Is that for fresh water? Because they can't bury the, uh, the water pipes and they have to be insulated? So here is Happy Valley Territorial Park. There's the gate, and they say the dump station. Dump and fill is right outside the gate. So is that it maybe over there? Yeah, yeah there it is. Interesting. Yeah, look, okay. look at the, uh, the yeah. piping. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's got to be uh, groundwater. Water. Like fresh or no, sewer? No, sewer. Yeah. Because mm. it goes underneath the road here and it looks like it's kind of piped in. Hmm. I'm just gonna check, check it out. out. Yeah. Okay, this is just crazy. Is this fresh water? Is it sewer water? It's built just like the Alaska pipeline. Sandra hasn't said it, but I know she's hoping for stickers here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, I knew it. Stickers. It's right here in the front door. This is like the first thing you see when you walk in. <laughs> Some replicas of murals here in town at the Mart. North Mart. <laughs> the North Mart. So we just learned about these. These are kind of like rock cairn. How do you say rock cairns? Rock cairns. Yeah. Yeah, they used to uh, guide yeah. travelers as they came up north. Uh, going to Tuck. Yeah, so whenever anybody was in the area, they would um, do a rock cairn, and sometimes if one of the arms was really long, it would point the direction of where they need to go. So that's, that's really cool. Yeah. Inside the North Mart store here in Inuvik, and I don't know if I've ever seen snow machines inside the store. Well, I guess if you travel far enough north, you're going to see these types of things. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by this. It's nothing but crap, but this is their sewer system. Amazing. Yep, this is it. North Wind Tires. Here we are. Let's see. We got the nuts checked. Everything's good. And it was really nice. They didn't charge us for the time to do it, but we do have to assemble everything back, which is fine. All right, so it was nice that you had your mallet. Yeah. I think it was a sign, David, you know. I found this at a, our campsite that we vacated. I don't know how long ago. I don't know, this is the beginning of the trip, so who knew I would need it? But I hope it's not a sign. Why? Well, because I found this today. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished our errands and we are back. Uh, <gasps> they did close it down. Yes, they did. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So they are closed. Yes. Hmm. Closed. 
so much for our insider yeah, info. Yeah, because he said he thought the campground wasn't going to close until the 15th. Yes, So I'm Friday. wondering about the dump station now. No, he said he would put up a sign on the dump station. Yeah. I think we're good for tomorrow. Yeah, but he also gave us some potential camping spots, so we're going to go check them out. It's a good yeah. thing we ran into him and talked to him. Really yes. nice guy. The people nice here guy. in Inu Inuvik, 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 they're great. This is the view out of our back window. Really turned out to be a nice, nice spot to overnight. So on this trip, especially into September, we've had to be flexible and adaptable. And when Jack Park was closed yesterday, we weren't completely surprised. We had read about it. Sandra had seen on some Facebook groups that it had closed earlier. We were kind of surprised it was actually open when we went through it the first time. But talked to some local people. We actually found an, an old uh, seaplane base, Shell Lake Seaplane Base. It's uh, allowed to camp here. So uh, we had a really nice evening last night. Very quiet, uh, peaceful, right on the lake. Can't complain about that. So. We're heading up to Tuck. This is our final leg of the journey. Hopefully this afternoon, uh, tonight, depending on how long it takes, we'll be up on the Arctic Ocean. See you then. Inuvik, it's the last town before you get to the Arctic Ocean and Tuck. Tuck toya, Tuck. So we're heading up, it's about 80 miles from here, and it's gonna be a really bad road. But even yes. people who, driving, who are driving cars say it's a bad road, so we're assuming 10 miles an hour? Yeah, 10 hopefully. miles an hour, so hopefully we'll get up there before dark. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. I know he said it wasn't gonna close for a couple of days, but you just never know. We talked to the guy that's actually works here that's gonna be closing it. Yeah. And you're still worried. I am. Okay, good. These guys are getting water. Yeah. Might be locals, I don't know, but. We will. So the water's working, so I feel better now. Oh, so grateful for water and dump and fill. <laughs> However, this late in the season, this might be the last water we get until maybe the lower 48, because everything's starting to close up on us. Yeah. This is kind of like when we first came up here in April. Things hadn't opened yet. Now we're leaving. Things are closing down because of the same reason, freeze. And didn't your buddies tell you they talked to somebody and here? Yeah, they're going to be shutting this down tomorrow. Uh, they're going to uh, do the winterizing and everything, and that's going to be tomorrow, not Friday. Tomorrow. Yikes. So it's a good thing we're here today. Whew. Timing is everything. Yes, it is. We are have been reset. I feel much better now. <laughs> Starting over from scratch and got some really nice hot showers last night. <laughs> that was got, a bonus. Yeah, I got some things cleaned up too. Fortunately, it seems like every two to three days we're able to find a place to at least get water. Yeah. And um, and we needed it. And then now we were able to dump. So that was, that was really good. Yep. So one more stop before we truly on our way to Tuck. And that is fuel, topping off Turn on right fuel. Yes. Turn right and three. I'm always amazed at the fuel stops here in the Arctic. Oh, you're rubbing off on me. It is in the Arctic. Does it even have a price on it? Yeah, 265 Per liter. Per liter. Okay, well that's not so horrible. It's more than Eagle Plains, but we're in the Arctic. Yeah. So... That's not terrible, I don't think. No. Man. Oh, we're getting used to these prices. We're getting so used to these prices, that's pathetic. So we're at the place to get fuel in the Arctic. <laughs> Bob's gas is like the place. And he's up in Tuck as well, I guess. But Bob also has welding and a convenience store a laundromat. And a laundromat. So Bob's like the happening place here in uh, Nubik. Okay, well, David spoke to somebody yesterday and they said the first half of this road is horrible. But we're thinking it was really good. Well, now we know why because we found the guy who's making it so great. <laughs> <laughs> I just made it funny. You 
you did. You made an, I didn't an even Arctic mean, joke. I didn't even mean to do that. No, you didn't. So that was actually pretty funny. Pretty good. Good yeah. for me. But I would be okay just following this guy at 15 miles an hour. Because he may actually catch up to us. That's exactly right if we're doing 10. Yeah. <laughs> So everyone's been saying how bad these roads are going to be, and we're expecting like McCarthy bad, but so far, this is so nice, but we know it's going to end, but the question is, when is it going to end? Okay, we think these are some locals that are getting some cranberries. They're staging them for the winter. You think so? Oh yeah, because winter's only about a month away. If that, oh yeah, look at this. There's um, building materials yep. right here. So I'm wondering if they're gonna build a um, little hut or something because there's a bunch of stuff over there too. Yeah, that could be wow. a normal winter view. thing. That is pretty. Day seven, we're 72 miles from Tuck. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's different on this trip going up to the Arctic, I expected to lose the trees like several days ago. Yeah. But we're seeing, we're still seeing trees and we're. And we're, Anubik was like in the forest almost. Yeah. And. It's so weird because we're up at like the 68th, almost the 69th parallel. Uh, we're well above the Arctic Circle. Yeah. And we are still seeing trees. trees. Now they're skinny. They're not much of them. And they're kind of, yeah, scattered about. Yeah. So I'm thinking that here in a few miles, we might actually lose the forest yeah. completely. How's this drive been for you? Um... Well, I think it's a lot easier than the Dalton. <laughs> and we haven't um, taken our time. Yeah, we, so I think for me, this has been more relaxing because we have built in 10 days up and 10 days back, but we're doing it in seven. Yes. And I feel really relaxed because we've been stopping a lot and obviously taking a lot of pictures. Now you're going like 15 to 17 miles an hour. Um, it's bumpy, it's rough, it's not washboard, which is good, washboard kills me. Um, but you've got this gorgeous expanse and it's beautiful to look at. Yes. So I'm okay if the road is bad, as long as I have something pretty to look at. And I think we have entered the tundra yeah. region with, and, and we have left for the most part, yeah. the forest behind us. Getting close, you see the Kingo's Monument up ahead. I see buildings it's which buildings, we haven't seen yeah. all day. All day, tuck to Toyota. All right, as you can tell from the sign behind us, we, we have made it. made it to Tuck Toyota. We're gonna get to the Arctic Ocean. We got our permits mm -hmm. to camp on the ocean. We've seen the uh, Pingo landmark mm -hmm. 
and it's still can see it <laughs> yeah and as you can see it was a beautiful day oh, today it's gorgeous it's gonna be a beautiful next two or three days yeah so we're not sure if we're gonna spend one full day or a couple of days yeah we're gonna play that one by ear really reminds us a lot of prudhoe bay yeah it's definitely yeah definitely an arctic settlement okay not only did we make it to tech but we have driven to the arctic, arctic ocean. ocean that is super cool to say that yes pretty cool that is really cool so this is a traditional fishing area and there's no swimming allowed but they said if you really really wanted to you could dip your foot into the arctic this is as far north as we can go right now on this trip that's right so after this we're heading south and we have to because we can't go any further north <laughs> So we just pulled in and David had to go check it out. I got that. Good thing he has um, waterproof shoes. It's cold. It's Arctic cold. <laughs> Arctic Ocean is really cool. It's very cool. What a gorgeous day. I cannot believe this is the Arctic Ocean. That's the sound of the Arctic Ocean lapping up against the shores of Toktoyoktok. All Arctic joking aside, <laughs> this is so cool to be camping right on the Arctic Ocean. Yes. This is what... This is why we came this here. This was our vision. This is why we came here. This is why we wanted to be here. And we drove all the way up north in September when everything's starting to close down. But this right here, mm -hmm. this is a super cool... It's really, it's beautiful. Unique, it's beautiful neat. experience. Man, it's gorgeous day today. We're on the Arctic Ocean. It's like 52 or 3. Yeah. There's and like no wind. No wind. Very it's, little wind. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Did I mention that's the Arctic Ocean behind us? You're seeing it here, folks. David <laughs> is chopping wood next to the Arctic Ocean. That's exactly right. He's... I don't know if I could split wood in a more picturesque setting than the Arctic Ocean right now. Yeah. This is cool. Okay. Is the uh, stump frozen? Yeah, the stump's a little tougher up in the Arctic. <laughs> oh, it's feeling pretty spunky, I guess, here on the Arctic. Oh, almost. He split the bottom one, it looks like. Yeah. That one will go. Good job. Ah. Feed the fire. We are watching the sunset. As I mentioned before, camping on the Arctic Ocean. Looking at that sunset. Arctic, you impressed with that? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> more days of this to have to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, like three or four more days. <laughs> But that is a gorgeous sunset on the Arctic Ocean. Our first full day in Tuk to Toya Tuk here on the Arctic Ocean. <laughs> Have I mentioned that before? A few times. So we're going to hit one of the big uh, establishments here. Grandma's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be on the point in a really nice view. Uh -huh. So we're gonna walk to town. It's about a mile walk. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. And it feels like we have the town to ourselves right now. Actually, other than this car <laughs> We do, there's nobody yeah. around. No one around. So on our walk to Grandma's Kitchen, we noticed a group 
of young people that were sort of being directed. Well, it's the local seventh grade elementary school and they're doing an art project, which makes complete sense that it's outside and trying to embody some traditional values. So the art project were these, some of these traditional structures, but given sort of their own flair and uh, ideas on it, using uh, the wood that's here, washed up over a long period of time. So it's just interesting, in the lower 48, they would color, paint, maybe mold clay, but up here, trying to do some of the more traditional things. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Who doesn't love to build stuff? Really? It's like Legos. I don't know, we've arrived at Grandma's kitchen, but we're not sure exactly where to enter. Is at the back. Back. Okay. Nice view. Maybe here. There's some people inside and some tables in there. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so order here. Okay, and then we eat there. Nice. All right, so we've ordered. Grandma needs to eat. So we'll go inside and wait, wait for, for her. To finish her lunch, and then she'll bring us our lunch. <laughs> That's right. Well, we have received our lunch. Uh -huh. Poutine. Poutine, yeah, we went in Canada. Thought we would try it. And, and little, she called it a smoky. It's yeah. like a smoked sausage, but it's on this white bread. So I've never seen that before. So that's kind of cool. Pretty interesting. Yeah. So I can't wait to try it. Yeah. So we've discovered the sod house. Yeah. Sandra says the before and the after. after. So that's uh, kind of interesting as we've been walking around town. Yeah. So but, they take the driftwood and put it together and just. Yeah, a bunch of sod on top. And, and there's a lot of driftwood here. There he is. Yeah, no trees, a lot of driftwood. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, starting to get chilly. It is. In case let's, you haven't noticed. Let's get back home. Yeah. <laughs> Alone in the Arctic. <laughs> Where is everybody? I don't know. Like yesterday, it was busy. I mean, we thought, what did we get ourselves into? And I know. Today, there's literally. There's like nobody. Zero. It's a ghost town. Yeah, there's no one at the on the ocean camping. No. So we're wondering if we're missing out on a, a bit of information. Yeah. Like like snow coming. But we're enjoying the, the nice peace yeah. and quiet. And the Arctic Ocean. <laughs> Last night on the Arctic Ocean camping, a beautiful evening. Well, it's time to leave when they start removing the pit toilets. <laughs> 